You're watching a Dallas police officer endanger the public by running a red light and speeding through a densely populated area to go after NFL running back Ryan Motes, whose mother-in-law is dying in a nearby hospital. His alleged crime? Exercising his own good judgment and defying a government control device. Many people seem upset by this and I don't understand why. This is exactly what most of you beg, plead, and pay for, a government in control of society. This police officer doesn't understand why this subject won't stop his car. So he keeps running his siren to warn the public of the danger he's putting them in to hopefully scare Mr. Motes into compliance. Cops are trained to take control of the situation immediately. It doesn't matter that this car had its emergency flashers on or that there was no victim damage or even a complaint from a citizen. Compliance must be absolute in a system based on people's belief in their authority. Get in there! In this cop's small world of right and wrong, good and bad, people and criminals, there is no excuse for breaking the law. The you understand? Give them an inch and they may take a yard. Let this subject get away with running a red light and others may start doing the same. Before long, people won't respect authority, Mr. Motes. Sorry. Your dying mother will have to wait. This is about the law. My, my mother is dying on, right now. Yeah, that I'm wasting time right that now. That doesn't constitute running you, red light. You're wasting my time. If I can't verify you have insurance, I'm going to tow the car. So you either find it or I'm going to tow the car. Stockholm Syndrome is where hostages feel sympathy for their captors, often defending or even assisting in their captors' objectives. Government's justice system has imposed absurd penalties for victimless crimes which they arbitrarily enforce. Do we have a problem? We don't have a problem. My mother-in-law is dying right now. Okay. I don't understand why you can't understand Okay, listen to me. Listen, listen, that doesn't matter. It's really the only way, isn't it? And it's what you all want, a government in control of society and therefore your life as well. You can either set it down, cooperate, or I can I'm take you to jail. What you ask for? You ask Listen, for this is about right and wrong. Shut your mouth. The government is always shut right, your and therefore you're you wrong. Can cooperate and set it down, or I can just take you to jail for running a red light. See how this cop uses the threat of jail to make it look like he's doing Mr. Motes a favor by only keeping him from his dying mother-in-law in order to extort money. All right. If my mom was dying, I'd probably be a little upset too, okay? But when I saw a flashing red and blue, I would stop. Officer Robert Powell just told us what this is all about, the challenge to his authority. I said I turned. This is not an emergency vehicle. You do not have the right. Only the ruling class can disobey the laws, Mr. Motes. Okay, well, your attitude says that you need one. I'm asking you just, here we are. You're standing here talking to me. Okay, well, you're not. Shut your mouth and listen. Shut my mouth? Is yeah. that how you talk to me, too? Shut your mouth and listen. Okay. If you want to keep this going, okay. I'll just put you in handcuffs and I'll take you to jail for running a red light. State okay. law, which are words on paper written by other members of the ruling class, justifies throwing a human being into a cage without having harmed anyone. See how his power is used arbitrarily to enforce compliance? All right, if you don't set it down. Your trust is legally parked. I'll tell that as well. That's probably why his superiors spent thousands of dollars on this big metal symbol of their authority for the outside of the building. Symbols of the state's authority must be constantly reinforced. I can screw you over. Yes. I'd rather not do that. Your attitude will dictate everything that happens. Yes, sir. And right now, your attitude sucks. See how nice I am? I am doing you a favor, buddy, by not putting you in shackles and stealing your car. You are required to stop. What you're doing does not matter. Police are outnumbered by a thousand to one, just as the chattel slaves in early America outnumbered their taskmasters. Disobedience cannot be tolerated if the government is to remain in control. I can charge you with I can I can make your life very difficult. I'd rather not. Okay. I have the power here, subject. Know your place. How dare you question my authority? Slaves who disobeyed were beaten and severely punished, subjected to harsh treatment and chastised by the other slaves who suffered from Stockholm Syndrome as well. With a human life on the line, the sound you hear is Officer Powell sending instant messages in his car. The life of a slave held little value to a taskmaster, 
because they were viewed as property. Yeah, I was on our side watching the eastbound service row. There's another car already there. That's right. And, uh, you know, northbound has red, the eastbound I know it has red because the other car was still sitting. He goes through, you know, had lights on him. While his mother-in-law is dying, Officer Powell is chatting with a Plano police officer. If you haven't seen my other videos, take a look at what a top-notch organization they are as well. Of course, they're not much different than any other police organization exercising a monopoly on violence over the population. It's a direct result of giving one group absolute power, which you all believe is necessary to keep everyone in line. Hey, that's, mm. that's the nurse. She yeah. said that the mom's dying right now. She's one of those things. Get him up there for it. She right. I'm on my phone. Okay. Attitude's everything. Okay. All you had to do was stop. Tell me what's going on. More than likely, I would have let you go. Your disobedience to my system must not go unpunished. All right. There you go. All right. Well, next time we see it, you stop. You tell whoever it is yeah. what's going on. More than likely, they're going to check you real quick and let you go about yeah, your way. I don't have well, that, that's better than doing all this. Really? Did he just say that? The next time your mother-in-law is on her deathbed, you better respect my authority. You can't use your better judgment. The government must do your thinking for you, subject. That's what you all want, isn't it? A government telling you how to live and what to think. You are paying them, after all. I thought he had his right blinker on. I figured out it was his hazards. He went through. It's like, uh uh. And I drove out from my hiding spot. Suddenly I saw you come flying by. I'm like, how do chase? I'm going to go get him all this time. Oh, we, we don't chase. We don't either. Not, not, for, not for that. Yeah, we, we wouldn't either. Put them, I was thinking maybe it's something better. <laughs> Most cops are drug addicts. Their drug of choice? Adrenaline. Listen to this cop as he admits to lying on a police report and likely filing yeah, false charges like and perjuring that. himself at trial. Didn't really, he didn't run, only doing 40, 45, pulled into a dead end. You know, I came out there at the door and he drove at me, you know, worded it that I was in fear of being run over. Chase was on. He didn't just say that he was in fear of being run over, he said he worded it that way. In other words, he lied in order to step up the violence, get into a high-speed chase, and get his fix of adrenaline. Some of you are angered by what you've seen and heard, and I don't understand why. This has been going on for hundreds of years. The only difference is technology and the internet allow you to see it firsthand. It must be like the first time Frederick Douglass read the Declaration of Independence and Thomas Paine's Common Sense. The slaves were discouraged from reading because the taskmasters knew that knowledge would lead to questions, disobedience, and eventually freedom. Today the taskmasters are long gone. They've been replaced by a much nicer form of chattel slavery commonly known as the justice system, where those who disobey the state's authority are sent for punishment. The taskmaster has been decentralized and compartmentalized, and despite a greater than 98% conviction rate in government courts, where government police work with the government prosecutors before government judges, under government rules with a government-created legal language few can comprehend that claims an idea, the state, as a damaged party, people still believe they're getting justice. Did you think it was a coincidence that most politicians have law degrees enabling them to read, write, and understand the government writings? A free audiobook, Narrative of the Life of Frederick Douglass, an American Slave, can be downloaded at freeaudio.org. I urge you to take an honest look at the world around you and realize it's only a reflection of your beliefs. How much longer do you plan to contribute to the abuse, the pain, the suffering, the torture and wars in the name of an idea? How many of you cower before the authorities in your false sense of security, believing the state won't come after you? What will it take for you to suspend your belief in government and start questioning the world around you? When people no longer see government as the best solution for the safe world most of us want, government will cease to exist for it's simply a reflection of your beliefs. I'm Sam Dotson, you're hearing OTN, the Obscured Truth Network.